This gets more and more bizarre. Believe me, I know just how you feel. That's how I felt at first, and now I'm all but unshakable. I can't believe I'm going to go along with this. Welcome to the club. Ethan, this does make some sense to you, doesn't it? I mean, it is somewhat believable. Well, over the past year, Laura's acted irrationally and impossible at times. I mean, she's done things I'll never comprehend, but... I never thought she'd go so far as to try and kill me. I mean, could I... Could I have misread the signals that profoundly? If we go ahead with this experiment, there are two possible resolutions. Either she's guilty or she's not. And if it's the latter, then no one's the worse for it, and you can continue with the investigation. What if the experiment fails? How can it fail? Never mind. Don't answer that. Uh, well, it's too late now anyway. The uh, trap's already being set. Allow just what's in this for me. Immunity. Which is why I invited the DA to be here. He is ready, willing, and able to prosecute you and your friends for everything that they did to me. But if you agree to go along with the plan, he has agreed that you won't have to suffer the inconvenience of a courtroom procedure. Can you confirm that, Ethan? Yes, I can confirm that. All right, I'll help you. But do you think this scheme of yours is going to help prove who killed my sister? Why don't you let us worry about that? Just stay by the phone and show up when I tell you. Are you having second thoughts? No, I'm just finding it difficult to accept what you're asking me to accept about Laura, that's all. But you don't doubt that it's true, do you? I suppose not. I mean, I knew there was anger, maybe even rage. But that the idea that the woman I lived with for all those years would take a... I'm sorry, it really doesn't matter. Ethan, you knew that she wasn't well for a long time. Yeah, but I obviously didn't know just how sick she was, did I? I'm really sorry. I, I really wish that there was a better way that Mason and I could have told well, you. Well, it's too late now. What we have to do now is hurry up and get it over and done with. And Besides which, she might not be guilty, right? Mason's over there laying the groundwork. Right now, it, it won't be long. I mean, she may not react the way you anticipate. She might tell Mason that she doesn't give a damn. Oh, good. I'm glad you're here. I just told Ethan that you'd call him and now you don't have to. So, did Laura turn on the tears for you? Quite the contrary. It was a primal display of the woman scorned. I fully expected her to rip the divorce action apart with her teeth. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Well, for our purposes, it's just fine. If she's itching for a confrontation, all we have to do is decide where to hold it. Are you up for this, Ethan? I just want to get it over and done with. You know, if she thinks that you're having a mad, passionate affair with your nurse, does she really think you would be that trite? Oh, well, um, how is Shannon, by the way? Well, actually, she's coming home from the hospital this afternoon. Well, I tried to get a progress report, but uh, there was no one listed there by the name of Preston. Pressman. Pressman? Does it ring a bell? Uh, I think I went to school with a... Uh, Pressman. Eh, maybe it was Preston. I don't know. Anyway, as far as the matter at hand, I think you should call Laura and tell her at 7 o'clock. That will give Bunny a chance to set everything up. Is that all right with you? It's fine. I know you're not looking forward to making this phone call, so we'll give you some privacy. Thanks. 